Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we're going to go over how to raise sheep in Seasons in Farming Simulator 19. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, so this is part 8 of my tutorial series on how to do Seasons. Today we're going to take a look at sheep. So um, just as other other things to note just like other animals so we've so far done chickens but we'll keep going through all of them but we'll go over here we just have four basic sheep pens put in here um so it's a lot of it is the same it, a lot of it is honestly the same but some things change that are kind of key to seasons so first off we have breeds you buy them all as females but we have different breeds so the dorsets um you can see there's some different stuff down here but essentially i'm just going to give you a quick summary the dorsets are a large breed um, they grow moderately fast, they provide or they require a medium amount of food, feed, and they produce a medium amount of wool. The merinos uh, are a medium sized breed, they grow slowly, uh, they require very little feed, um, and they are designed for wool production. Then we have the Suffolk. The Suffolk um, is a large breed, it grows extremely fast, requires a lot of feed, and has moderate wool production. Then we have the Dorper, which is a medium breed, fast growing, requires little feed, and does not produce any wool. So we have all those four different breeds in there. Um, again, all our purchases as females, um, they do have the potential to get pregnant in autumn, and then they will give birth five periods of time later, five game periods later, which uh, if we go into the seasons menu, each one of these is a period. So depending on whatever section of seasons we have three day seasons on but uh, if i turn this up to nine day seasons and went in here this would be three day three days would be a period so just be aware of that um, wool is only produced during the spring um, they do require water and regular feed so over here we have a water trough here now you can buy in seasons there is a placeable pump which we found in here uh maybe potentially i don't know where the pump's at maybe it's in animal pens here there we are, the water pump, and you place it just near the pen. Uh, it's 5,000 to buy. It does charge you for the water, but it'll keep the, the uh, water level to 15% of what's required for the animals. So if you don't want to have to worry about it, that might be a good way to go about it. Um, now, feeding, just as always, depends on the age of the animal, the weight of the animal, and the health of the animal, so all those different things. Um, it'll show you if we go into the seasons menu here and take a look at animals. It has our four pens in here. We have zero animals in each and every one of them. Um, it'll show you what the wool production is here. Um, it'll show you the yearly food required here. Uh, and what they can eat is basically grass and hay. That's what they require. And they do require to be cleaned up as well. So make sure you keep them clean to keep their health up. Um, again, we'll kind of take some more looks at that in a second when we actually do a little bit more of a practical example of this. Um, just like everything else in seasons or every other animal in season except chickens are a little bit of an exception um, They'll only hold enough feed for two days So you have to constantly be feeding them and taking care of them um, if there is grass in the pen um, Animals will graze off it or have the opportunity to graze off of it now They will eat what's in the trough that you put there first and then they will graze second. So uh, just be aware of that um, Health will increase over time as the needs of the animals are met, and it'll decrease a lot faster if you don't meet their needs. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and run a couple of quick little uh, scenarios here. Um, I will be doing a test video to get more specifics, but um, again, feed goes right over there on the other side where I have this trailer with hay in it. Uh, water goes right over there. The, the base game animal pen, so pretty simple. Wool is going to spawn here, and right here is where you put uh, the sheep in. So. We're just gonna buy 10 of each and put them in each one of these pens. Confirm that, we'll come over here and do the same thing over here. Make sure I'm actually putting the right number in. Yep, 10 of each in there. And we'll put 10 dorpers in here. All right, we should have 10 of every sheep, perfect. So um, they don't have any grass or anything to graze off of right now. I'm going to go ahead and um, actually I'll put what I'll do just to show you and demonstrate. I'll put water pumps down for um, three of the pens because it'll make my life a little bit easier as well. Um, but I'll put a water pump down here for that pen. So you can see it's immediately filling it with water that is required. Put one down for that pen and one down for that pen. Um, and then what I'll do is I will run back over here and I'll fill the other one up. So again, just very simple. You just fill them up with water. But if we go in there, we should see that um, they've got 15% of their water level met, at least in those ones, or they should be getting pretty close. And you see they're, they're all different levels of water because different sheep require different um, feed requirements and different requirements like that. So now this one I can actually fill all the way up or put as much in there as it's going to allow me to take. No more capacity for water. So if I go into the menu here, um, this one is full on water. 
Now, if we go over to this guy right here, go ahead and dump hay in to feed them. And if I go into the seasons menu here, they are good to go there. So their needs are met there. The cleanliness says 0%. It'll refresh here in just a couple minutes. So if I fast forward just a little bit of time here, just so we get to the next uh, 15 minute mark. Beautiful. And they just ate a little bit because, well, we fast forward a little bit of time. Not hardly anything at all. But if we go in here, their cleanliness is all at 100%. Those guys are still good on water. Um, it will bill us for the water, but these guys need some feed. So we can see their health is at 80% right now, um, but it could go down and it may not, or it could go down or up depending on what we got going on. I'm not gonna feed all of them. I'm gonna feed just three of them and then we'll let the one breed starve a little bit just because I'll show you that their health can decrease uh, fairly rapidly if you don't take care of them. Unless of course the grass starts growing and they can feed off of that, which will then demonstrate that. So it'll all work out no matter what happens. All right, so everyone should be good to go except for these guys don't have uh, any food. Now, if we, and also too, if we go actually into that menu there, we see the estimated food required for the different animals is varying on the bottom there. So um, various uh, yearly food requirements are on there. Now it's not saying that they're gonna have, uh, that doesn't include any more children they reproduce or anything like that. So, um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and just fast forward a little bit of time. Um, let me go in here, actually, I'm gonna set it to, I find a thousand works okay without having too many. Now you do have to occasionally step back to make sure it doesn't need to catch up, but we'll fast forward into tomorrow morning and then we'll kind of take a look and see how all of the sheep are doing. Now we are in spring. I'm not sure if they're gonna produce any wool on their first year. I think they should because they're all mature. Um, so they should be producing wool as well. But we'll check all the status of everything they have going on um, here in the morning. So remember they're all 80% health and they had their food uh, full except for the one that we didn't feed at all. So we'll take a look. And the grass could potentially start growing for those ones as well. So it's all kind of up in the air at this point, but we'll go ahead and fast forward a bit here. All right, it's morning. Uh, we did have a couple animals die. And one more thing to note, um, if you are transporting them yourself and you're using animal transport to transport your sheep, which is great because you don't have to pay um, for a fee or anything like that. And actually, I didn't even take a look. There should be a, is there a fee associated? Move, yep, there's a fee associated with these guys. There's not with chickens, but there are, there is normally. So I will move you back in there. All right, perfect. So anyhow, um, if you leave them in an animal trailer overnight or something like that, oftentimes the animals will die. And we did lose a couple animals. So this one's down to eight, actually. And these guys are 21% health. Uh, so their health really deteriorated. There's nothing for them to eat here um, because they didn't have any food. Um, these guys, their health is going up 85%, 85%, and 85%. Now, obviously, they're getting through various levels of feed and whatnot. Um, and they are starting to produce wool, which is great. So we actually will see some wool pallets pop up here. Now those ones don't produce wool anyway, so there's not any wool pallets there, but you'll see here we have various amounts of wool. And who do we have in here? We have the merinos in here, which if you remember, the uh, merinos are designed for wool production. And if we go into the menu here, um, the merinos have produced uh, 387 liters of wool, while 145 for uh, the door sets and these guys 193 for the suffix. So uh, there you go. Just to kind of give you a quick overview, that is how to take care of sheep in seasons. It's not terribly complicated, but again, they're only going to produce wool in, in the springtime. I will be doing some tests with them later on to figure out which one's more profitable and stuff like that. But without further ado, that is the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post.